Oh. Whoa. That's an interesting angle. Why are you talking like Maria Bamford? <laughs> I don't know, man. It just feels wrong. Feels right. Talk like Maria Bamford. <sighs> okay, y'all. Uh, I like this, this angle. I like my car. It's fucking awesome. She's taking the cowbell. I'm taking the cowbell. Why are you taking the cow? Because I, I want to I wanna get used to it. I got to get used to it. All right, you guys. We're going to be dark for a little while. A little while? <laughs> Maybe about two more seconds. Beginning to see the light. <laughs> Don't even know what song I'm singing, you guys. That's how cool I am. And I was confused, you think. I'm only, I'm, I feel like I'm cultured enough. Just enough. Yeah, but I, I seriously, I gotta learn how to play this thing. Because I, I just got it. And I took it to this bar and... I feel like I was terrible, but I always think I'm terrible unless I offend everybody, then try to offend everybody, and, and then I'm doing my job, you know? <laughs> there you go, that was better. That sounded better. Oh, whoa. Nelly, whoa. I nearly broke this stick just now. <laughs> Got these drumsticks. I don't have a drum set. I just, I just have the cowbell. I mean, I'm, I'm really bad at, um, what do you call it? Synchron, synchronicity. It's weird because, like, I can, I can do it with life, and I can see it in life. Like synchronicity, like really registers with me. Mainly because I have self-fulfilling prophecy, so I always think, like. I can see the future happening, and then it happens. <laughs> so I have this idea of like what I'm gonna do at the bar, because this is where you go if you're not a successful comedian. You go to these fucking shitty dive bars, and you get to perform for like four or five minutes, five minutes at the most. Maybe if you're on a showcase, which I have not been on, I've been told that it's like six minutes. Maybe like 10 minutes, 12 minutes, if you're lucky. But you're probably not lucky, you know? Well, I just want my own show. People tell me to go on like SNL or some shit. That's like way too much expectation. Like, it's got to be my rules, you know? Like, I got to do it myself. It won't mean anything to me anyway. Like, I never thought I would, like, do something like SNL. I mean, I can see why people think that. But, like, yeah, I'm just not, like, I can't categorize my art in any kind of way. I don't know what the fuck it is, honestly. I just, I just know that it's, it's what comes out of me, you know. <laughs> yeah, but you're starting this like new like form of comedy. I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's comedy though. It's a bunch of shit. It's like <laughs> maybe I should just start calling it conglomeration comedy because I just don't really, I don't really know what it is. All right, conglomerate your comedy. <laughs> there 
you're like, yeah, you say something really important, like you ring the fucking bell. That would be so funny, man. Some people aren't paying attention. Which is pretty, like, common. Yeah, but that's fucking brilliant, though. Like, if you think about it, you know, how annoyed you are. Like, people always getting on their phone. Like, I know you want to do something, like, artistic, like, James Murphy-like. <laughs> For, like, four or five minutes that you're up there, you just do, like, a fucking DJ set. Even though I'm not a DJ, y'all. I'm not. It would make sense if I, like, did that, but very rarely do I do things that make sense. That's why it took me 30 years to figure out that my life was comedic. <laughs> Yeah, it's the thing though, it's not just like, uh, like I'm good at talking about myself, but like I really want people to know me and I don't want people to know my feelings on the world. I mean, of course there's all that, but it's just like, my life is so fucking ridiculous because of this mental illness that I have, that it's just like makes everything a joke. Like it's just, everything's funny and it. it's just pretty cool that like, I can see that now. <laughs> I miss people in my life. I had this like dream that I was in like the old apartment that I used to live in. Apartment J4. Oh my god. J4. <laughs> It's like a horror movie. No, it was actually really awesome. Like, it's like I live there in like all these different states of mind. <laughs> it's like if my life were an image, it would be like a revolving door. Because like so many uh, segments of my life, I just like end up in like the same place. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, you better fucking go. Even though I got here before you, bitch. Whatever. <laughs> that's that's passive aggressiveness for you. On the road. Damn, I almost ran into the curb because I was so insistent on my kenzo. That's how committed I am to my art. <laughs> I love my little snort. You know what's funny? I used to just do that. See, my, one of my old friends, she's like, that's not your real life. The thing is, it's not my real life. I don't even know what my real life is. Because I just have a lot of different laughs. So now, like, I snort. Or I, like, cackle. Or, like, I got that witch's cackle. Uh, or, um, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know why I do that. Um, you know, just like all these different voices that I do, you know, I have a lot of different laughs. You know, I, I see stuff that I, I like and that I try to emulate it. Um, without even realizing that I'm doing that. And so now, like, I naturally have a snort. So take that, Ashley. Because <laughs> I really do. Like, that's definitely that my laugh, what I just did. Hey, I don't know what that was. That was like some weird like valley girl kind of laugh or like no more like 16 year old god damn it fucking a you're gonna have to wait now you're really gonna have to wait yeah i really gotta pee you guys well that's because you like chugged a cup of coffee in a very short period of time. <laughs> it was good. It was organic coffee. It was organic. Yeah, it was like, it was organic. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, it's like I miss people in my life. I miss people that I used to hang out with. But it's so it's just so weird now. Like I wanna like talk to people that I haven't talked to in a while. But it's like they live elsewhere. And I want to tell them to come out to this comedy therapy thing, but I don't, you know, maybe they will. 
Well, if you give him a fucking t-shirt and a cookie like you, you know, you're saying, yeah, I got to make more t-shirts. I got to get some more fabric paint. I got to make some more cookies. There's a lot of shit I got to do. All for my art. It's all for my fucking art. <laughs> yeah, I had this dream that I was in apartment J4. And like the the bunny that we had back then, Sonny, Sonny the bunny, he was like out in the belt. <laughs> and like, you know how dreams, like they don't make any fucking sense. Like, it, it's like usually like a, a revisit to your past with like people you haven't seen in a while. And then it's like people that you've never even met or like just blobs, blurry faces. You don't know what the fuck they are. And then like you're on a staircase, but it's not just like any staircase. It's like an Escher staircase, only way more complicated than even an Escher staircase. And like, and then it's like a metaphor for like how, you know, you just always take the long way to do everything, the long, hard, arduous way every fucking time. People keep telling you, why do you do that? And you're like, well, because it makes sense to me. My life is funny, you guys. See that? It's really good. Great idea. Brilliant. Brilliant. I do this, babe. I'll see y'all later. Signing off, Vortex. Signing off.